Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our trip to the scenic state park. We're starting just after the last episode ended and preparing to head to our next campsite. A little trick I learned on the river from tying up your tie downs on your tarp and just wrap them around my hand. Get that nice little bundle of line, just do a simple twist, pull through, pull tight. Boom. And your lines are all nice and tied up for you. And so on this day two, we leave camp five. Heading about 400 feet down short of camp four. We better get started. It's already, uh, what time is it? 1.53. 1.53, we better hurry. It'll be dark in about five, six hours. treacherous journey but we made it to four. Didn't take as long as I thought, it actually only took about three minutes. Well, we're going to try fishing from the Mare. Some people might say a Solstice GTS isn't a fishing boat. I say you're crazy. Every boat is a fishing boat. There you go. A little sunny on that little lure again. A little sunny as our fish is out here. We are happy to have the loons hanging out near camp. They are calling to each other throughout the day with their amazing hoots and haulers. They are always a pleasure to have around. The wife had battles of her own. Seriously, mosquitoes? All right, we are wrapping up day number two at the Scenic State Park. What do you think so far? I, th I, I think the flies are bad, but overall it's been fun. It's been really quiet and peaceful and relaxing. First time kayak camping. Yeah, that's been easy. No truck to run to and get all your stuff. That kind of sucks. No store to run to. <laughs> so we're on campsite number four tonight. Obviously facing west. 
Sun's just going down. We got our own little point here overlooking the lake. And our hammocks set up right next to it. So we'll be able to watch them. So we got uh, close enough again. We got both hammocks under the one tent. Under the one, uh, we got both hammocks under the one tarp, which is good because we're supposed to get some rain and possibly storms tonight. So, but uh, got our little candles going under there again. It's real homey. It's real nice. And uh, I'm the one next to the lake. So if I fall, I'm going to have the worst time. However, if I don't fall, I'll have the best view. So, that's it. That's, uh, that's the end of day two. I did some fishing today and caught a bunch of little sunnies and a couple little northerns. And uh, it was fun. I mean, nothing big, nothing record-breaking, but it's always fun to catch something. So, but yeah, this is uh, Site 4. It's got a little shelter on it, just like 5. And... Uh, there's a bear box off the other side. It's got a big old gardener snake living under it. Uh. Wives don't like, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of dark to be doing a tour, but boats are down a hill, down a staircase. I got them both tied up to each other, and hopefully uh, if it does come on to storm, they'll be just fine. So aside from that, we're just going to hang out, wait for dark, go to bed. The rest of the evening is spent listening to the loons and enjoying the serenity of the lake. Well, good morning. Day three at the Scenic State Park. Waking up at campsite number four and laid in the hammock this morning and enjoyed the view. One of my favorite things to do when camping in the hammock is just to lay there and look at the water. Kayaks made it through the night. Beautiful clear water still. Got some wind. Breeze kicked up about, I don't know, 2 3 a.m. and it was kind of nice so slept good from then on but uh yeah so our plan for today then is basically wake up make our coffee and eat probably do some fishing and eventually we'll make our way over to campsite number six and six is our last one there's been people on there non-stop since we got here so hopefully they're out of here today and we'll have our spot um it's not too far it's a thousand foot battle maybe the interesting thing about tonight is is there could be some storms so some are said to be severe so we'll see how it goes gusty winds so we might have to use a tent tonight but uh one night out of three isn't bad i guess but uh yeah it's just quiet. Someone's mowing, it sounds like, off in the distance, aside from that. It's just a nice, quiet lake. Clear water. Come with, eh? 
Ready to head to six? Is the best view, that's for sure. We begin setting up camp, and before long, I am trying out the fishing along our new shoreline. We are watching some weather on radar and have yet to commit to setting up the tent. is very mad. Skitter pops are working really good out here.
Yo, yo, so we made a decision about leaving campsite six a little early because there is some storms coming in uh, tonight and they're supposed to be pretty windy and severe. So we are gonna still stay in the park. Uh, we're just gonna take a campsite that's actually uh, in the campground. Um, and that way we have the truck and everything should we need it. Um, I'm, I'm betting we would be okay, but the future cast does uh, show a pretty strong um, bow echo as it forms, so we'll see. Um, it'll either be a good decision or not a great decision. I guess it's never a bad decision, but so anyway, so so we'll still be up here for the night. We're just not going to stay here at campsite six. So, um, but yeah, it's a great little spot. Six is right on the main trail, the main hiking trail. So it, I think the gets a little bit more visitation from people coming through, but. Um, not a bad little spot so so that's the update uh, tomorrow is supposed to be rainy and stormy all day and that's kind of the other part of this decision is we don't want to have to paddle back to the launch tomorrow if there was lightning or anything because we need to be out of here tomorrow so this will make it so we're already in the park and at the vehicle and we're ready to go but it's been pretty cool staying out here on the lake i'm gonna fish my way back to the boat launch because i'm in no hurry Right? Sure. But anyway, that's gonna pretty much uh, wrap up anything cool about the trip, I think. We'll film anything in, in the campground that's uh, interesting. I can't imagine it'll be much. It's just a state park campground, but um, fish on my way back. And so yeah, so that might uh, round out the end of the trip. And if it indeed does, I appreciate y'all coming back, checking out the vid. And, um, the scenic state park up in northern Minnesota, man, it's, it's beautiful up here. I like campsite number five myself, that thing, water campsite five. That was a, a really cool site. That was their first night here. So, uh, if you ever want to get out and try kayak camping or canoe camping, but you don't want to go far, um, it's a great, uh, great way to start, which is why we're out here, get my wife, uh, her first experience at it. And the fishing's been really good. Um, so especially on the uh, southern end of the Sedwick Lake, if I remember what it was called, I don't. I'll put a note somewhere, but anyway, that'll do it for now and we'll fish our way back. If there's anything cool, I'll show you. Otherwise, take care. <laughs> Just a little guy, but we got him. He was hungry. Eh, fish is a fish, right? Large mouth. One pound. Fortunately, this is where our journey will come to an end. We stay in the park for the night, dealing with the storms that finally arrive. 
the next day, we left for home. The Scenic State Park is a beautiful place to visit and an amazing place to introduce someone to kayak or canoe camping. It is an easy area to paddle and the water campsites are great. If you do come up, don't forget your fishing gear as there is plenty to catch. Hope you enjoyed the trip and I can get out again soon and film some more. Take care everyone and we'll see you on the next one.